starting a project. In the scene properties, find the IFC project info panel and then the IFC project sub panel. Here, you can define your unit system and choose a template library to start your project. We have a couple of libraries available for structural modeling and more will be available in the future. So for now, we'll just use the demo library and we'll create new element types as required during our modeling process. We'll click on create project and we're now ready to start modeling in Blender BIM. We'll first start by adding a few grids. For this, we'll bring up the side panel by pressing N. Here, we'll go to Blender BIM and grids. We'll press on add grids. Before pressing on any object here, we'll bring up this small panel on the left bottom side. We now have a few grids and they automatically have a name. Now, since we're going to have two buildings, let's duplicate a few of these. We'll select all these grids and also this bottom one here. You can do so by pressing on the left mouse, pressing shift and then dragging across. Once you have your grid selected, press on shift D and let's move them on the X direction by 50 meters and in the Y direction by 50 meters as well. Okay, we notice some of these grids are too long so we can edit them out. Let's select them again with left click on our mouse and drag in our mouse across. We have all our grids selected. We can now press tab making sure we are in the vertex mode and edit mode. We'll then select these vertices, press on G to grab these vertices, constrain it to the X axis and then slide it across. Okay, we can snap it there. I have a couple of snaps activated. To add more than one snapping tool, you can press on shift and keep on pressing on the snapping tool required. Make sure the magnet is blue such that it's actually active. Okay, we have extra grids for our second building. We can rename these grids by pressing on F2. We'll name this B01. We can now press on save project, select a location of your choosing and hit on export IFC. We'll now copy this link and start a new project. Then load project, locate your file and press load project. And here we go, we have our grids. Let's now add a building and a few building stories. Let's first select our site. Here's our site object. Here we'll go to the object properties, scroll down until you find IFC aggregates and press on add building. We'll call it block B. We now have two buildings. We'll rename our first building by pressing on F2 and we'll call that block A. Oops, that was my story. So I'll rename my story to ground floor and my building object, well, I'll rename this to block A. Okay, what if we'd like to add a couple of building stories? There's a little handy dandy menu. If you go to the scene properties and under IFC project setup, here you'll find a spatial manager. You can press on load spatial structure. And here you can see we have a site and two buildings under which there is a building story. And we can add further building stories. We'll call this first floor. We'll change the elevation of the ground floor to, to be 0 0.5 meters. The first floor will be at 4.5. And we'll also add a few stories for the block B. So making sure we have the block B as the active object here. 
we'll add two stories. The first one will be the ground floor. And the second is this first floor. We'll also change the heights, but they'll be different this time. So the first floor is at 5.5 meters and the ground floor will be at zero. And notice how the name didn't update. I don't know why I didn't press enter. You can also add sub stories. Select one of your stories and hit add story again. We'll name this ground floor sub story. You can now save your project again.